Hey everybody, this is Jennifer. I'm coming to you with another sales update video. Um, about a week ago I made a haul video and I wanted to do one uh, every week, so to do a haul video and a sales update video, um, but there's going to be a little delay with that because um, I set up a new shoe rack. It takes about 50 shoes and to do that I had to rearrange everything because I live in a small apartment and I found about four tubs on shelving units that um, basically were clothes I picked up at dollar sales and 50 cent sales that I completely forgot about. So I made a promise that I would get that done before I go sourcing and cause a bigger problem than I already have. And so if you have that going on, don't worry, you're not the only one. <laughs> we all overbuy and put it away and completely forget about it. At least I think a majority of us do that at some point. Um, all right, the first item I have, um, which is a liquidation item, you're going to see a few of those in here. Uh, I'm trying to make room for new, uh, different types of products I'm buying. So I'm buying less at 50 cent sales. I'm still doing it, but less, and I'm trying to get a higher profit item. So this is one of the, um, a dollar items that I had online. I had it on for probably eight months, so it's definitely time for this to go. It's a Nina Piccolino dress. Um, I don't know the name. I just thought it was kind of an interesting paisley design. No one was overly interested in it, obviously. Um, paid a dollar and I sold it for eight free shipping and it shipped first class mail. So I still made a couple of dollars on it. So you're going to even notice that like when you make mistakes, you rarely actually completely lose money on your mistakes. The only thing is you only make a few dollars, which is great because each item you sell, you learn from. So basically you're getting paid to learn. So that's fine. All right. This is a Hugo Boss. Um, it's called a Patty Polo shirt. Um, this was $4.50 and it sold for 20. Uh, I'll just tell you uh, something real quick. This was made in China and I did look it up to see if Hugo Boss was made in China because I, I didn't want to put on something that was um, not legit. And it is. It is. Um, I found other shirts where they actually said it. But what I noticed was a majority of people do not put in the auction that it's made from China. They will say import it. Um, I, I personally don't recommend you do that because um, I'll tell you why. One of the, the customers that was interested in the shirt made a big deal about the fact that I had that it was made in China. I, I mean, I want them to know. I want them to be okay with that fact. So he's going on and on. How do I know this is legit? Blah, blah, blah. I wrote him finally and I said, hey, listen, I, I, don't buy this item. You know, I, I said, if you're really uncomfortable with this, don't buy this item and ask other sellers where their shirt came from prior to getting it. And I blocked him because he was already fighting with me and he didn't even buy the shirt. So Definitely, if it's made in China, don't just say imported because people get a bad taste in their mouth when they hear China for some reason. Um, because you don't want this customer buying your shirt and being mad at you after he gets the shirt and then being able to give you a negative feedback. So you always want to kind of upfront where the item came from. Don't say imported. All right. Um, all right. The next item, this was a liquidation. Okay. Oops, sorry, my computer's acting wonky. All right, it's just the Eddie Bauer shirt. I only picked it up because I didn't know what I was doing. It was a dollar. I sold it for $4.99 plus shipping. So the buyer paid $8.29 for it and it shipped first class mail. So again, I did not lose money. This is a women's vintage riveted Lee denim jean jacket. This was $3.50. It sold for $16.99 and the buyer paid $24.19 with shipping. And this is a women's Adidas um, jacket. This is the back of it. So if it has this, I think it's called trefoil. I think that's how you pronounce it. This design is trefoil. So you, if you have this on your jacket, you definitely want to put this into the title right here because people are looking for it. Um, this cost $3 at the Salvation Army and it's sold for $25.49 free shipping and um, it shipped first class mail. So it was only about $4, I would say. 
Okay, this is a pair of vintage Stafford Beetle Boots, and it's called Beetle Boots because the Beatles made this style of boot famous in the day. So you definitely want to use Beetle as a keyword if the boots look like that. Um, this was $4 at the, um, at the Goodwill, and they sold for $42.49. And the buyer paid $50.29 delivered. Okay, this is a pair of Clarks. It's just a pair of slip-on shoes. Um, they're called Channing Enna slip-on shoes. Now, I did not know that. There's a number that are that's in the shoes. If they're new enough, you'll be able to find that shoe. If you put in Clarks and you put in the number that's given inside the shoe, um, you'll find it on other websites that will say what the name is and actually give you a description. I don't know if they use the description. Yeah, they did. I did. Part See right here, all this came from a, another website where it gave me a full description of what was in this shoe. And this is great. It really does help to sell. So you get the real name of it and then you get all the specs and you can put that into your item description and that will really help. So this was $4. It sold for $21.24 and the buyer with shipping paid $20.44. Okay, this was a Forever 21 dress. It's just a little black dress and I paid a dollar for it at the Salvation Army and it sold for $16.99 free shipping and it probably cost about $3.50 to ship. Okay, this is a women's Ralph Lauren blazer. Um, it was wool and herringbone. And I'm sure if you listen to my other videos, you will hear that with Ralph Lauren, I will often say you can use the word equestrian. And one of the reasons you can use the word equestrian is because of things like this. See this button, see how cool this button is, like with the horse, it's such a great design. If you have this on your blazer or anything, if you have buttons that just are very different or unusual, have a crest on them, anything, do a close-up of the button because it's a selling point of whatever you have. So now if you look at my title, I do not use the word equestrian because you have to make a decision. This thing had so many keywords involved. I had to make a decision whether I wanted to leave out one of these keywords like wool, herring herringbone, or tweed, or did I want to use the word equestrian? And I did not want to give up um, herringbone or tweed or women for that word equestrian. And um, I will do a video. It's not like I know all the, the correct keywords, but I'll show you what I do in another video. Um, when something has so many keywords and I don't know which ones to use, I'll show you what I do to help me make that decision. So that'll be coming up soon. All right, this was $3.50. It sold for $24.04 and the buyer paid $34.59 with shipping. All right, this is a Burberry cashmere sweater. And I kind of lucked out. I got it for $3 at the Salvation Army. And it was a great size. Look, it's a 2XL. And it's cashmere, though, which is just unbelievable. But it had a hole in it, and I think that's why it was still there. It had a hole in the neck, but it's not a horrible hole. You know, it's not that bad. It's a little hole. Now, if this was any worse, I would have put this on auction. If I thought someone was going to get this and be like, oh my God, you know, <laughs> this is horrible. Um, I would have put it on auction so that, you know, they could really decide the price they wanted to pay for something like this. But it was really, really tiny, and it was on the back of the neck. So I, and it was up, you know, where the material material was thicker as well. So it wasn't that bad. So I put it out for forty dollars. Had free shipping because it was very late. It shipped first class mail, and um, the buyer paid thirty three dollars and ninety nine cents for this, even with the hole in it. So if you see something that's high quality and it's a good material, and you see it has a defect that isn't too offensive, definitely consider picking it up. All right, this is just a pajama set from Victoria's Secret. It's a flannel pajama set. I paid $4.50 for it at the Goodwill and sold for $16.99. And with shipping, the buyer paid $24.19. And that was even for an extra small. So it really wasn't the best size either. So, you know, these Victoria pajama sets that are flannel, they sell pretty well for me. 
So you may want to look at picking those up. Okay, this is the last eBay item. This is a pair of Cole Haan loafers. Um, I picked these up at the Salvation Army. And uh, did I take a picture of the bottom? Yeah, see it says Nike Air. So you definitely want to put that in the title if it has that Nike Air sole. Put that in your title as well. Um, they were $8. They sold for $34.99, and the buyer paid $42.19 for shipping. Okay, now I'm going to move over to Etsy. Okay, the first item I have is an 80s Gold Star 5-inch black and white TV. And I picked this up at a church sale. I love church sales for finding stuff for Etsy. They're just like gold because they have the most interesting things. Now, they have this out only for $3 because... I, obviously they thought it had no value so I definitely asked it if I could plug it in because I don't think you're gonna sell this for very much if it doesn't turn on and also make sure you look where the batteries go I mean this is a plug-in but it also takes batteries make sure like there is no old batteries in there they're leaking all over the place so it plugged in it turned on you don't have to worry really about it tuning in you just have to make sure it turns on because uh, the people who buy them will, you know, they know what to do, but they, they want to know that this item turns on. Also, if you do have an item like this and it does turn on, use that as your main photo. You know, darken the room a little bit, turn the TV on. So what they're seeing is, yeah, this works. I mean, that's the first thing they see when they see that picture is that that's a working TV. Um, so it paid $3 and it sold for $39.99. And the buyer paid $52.64. Okay, this is one of the many little die-cast pencil sharpeners that I picked up for $0.50. Cents. Um, you can see on the bottom, it's just an open little pencil sharpener. And uh, the buyer paid $6.99. And with shipping, they paid a grand total of $10.38. And this was great. This was a, this is the last item. This is a vintage suede vest. Um, this was at the Goodwill, and it was half off. And so it was three dollars and seventy-five cents. And it's so great. They have ten pictures. Use those if you're on Etsy, especially use well on both really. Use as many pictures as you can without completely killing time you know what I mean if you have an item like this I would use every single picture now if I have a pair of gap jeans I am not taking 10 pictures of a pair of gap jeans but when you have an item that's very unique and one of a kind you really can use those 10 pictures pretty quickly because you have tags like this in there you want to show everybody you want to show everybody what the tags look like and it has a couple of little spots so I want to show them that too um, but I paid $3.75, sold for $39.99, and the buyer paid $52.74 with shipping. So they paid a lot for this, and it sold probably within two weeks. So if you see any, if you're selling on Etsy and you see any old, like, Western-style suede vests, definitely pick them up. They sell great. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and your sales are going great, and I will see you next time.